Oh, I wonder what it's gonna be, everybody. Oh my god, another head! I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't apologize for being the best, the very best. Oh no. Hey, I'm Joshua Yale, IGN's Pokemon TCG expert, and I have been playing the Pokemon trading card game since day one, and also I've been playing competitively since 2015. And today I want to introduce you to one of my favorite people in the Pokemon community, Frosty Caribou! Hello! <laughs> so you have a YouTube channel that you have built for people who are casual players and want to get into the game. A colorless Pokemon usually has colorless attacks. Also for people who play competitively, right? Yeah, pretty much. I personally started early 2019 from just picking up a box like off a shelf, you know? And I looked at my cards and I was like, how do I play these cards? I want to play these cards, you know? And be the very best like no one ever was. Yes, catch them all, <laughs> play them all. <laughs> and we are here at my favorite place to play Pokemon, Next Gen Games in Los Angeles, California. And today we are going to teach you how to play the Pokemon TCG by playing the Pokemon TCG. And we're going to talk about the evolution of the card game from the 90s to now. And to do that, we are going to play two games, a retro format using the cards from the original base set way back when, <laughs> and then we're gonna jump forward to now and play a standard game. So are, are you excited? I'm so excited. I've never played retro before, so this is a first time for me. I'm ready for you to take the lead and teach me. <laughs> no, yeah, the retro format is completely different from standard. It feels yes. like the wild, wild west where anything goes because there weren't as many rules and restrictions in the game, yes. so it's gonna be wild. I think you're gonna have fun. I'm so excited. So sit back, relax, and welcome to IGN's Let's Play Lounge. Presented by the Pokemon Company International. So whether you played Pokemon in the 90s or you're playing Pokemon now, the overall gameplay is the same. Simply put, you play down Pokemon and evolve them from your hand, power them up with energy cards, use trainer cards to give you the edge, and attack your way to victory. Your attacking Pokemon goes up top, and you can place up to five other Pokemon below on your bench. Deal enough damage and you can knock out the opposing Pokemon. Each Pokemon is worth one to three prize cards. The first person to take all six prize cards wins. But there are some other ways to win. If you knock out all of your opponent's Pokemon, or if your opponent runs out of cards and can't draw at the start of their turn, they lose the game. So to help us go back in time, I have my original collection back from when I was a kid. So we're gonna, uh, let's go down memory lane. I mean, oh. <laughs> such That's sparse, beautiful artwork. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I love this. Um, yeah, one of my most traumatic memories of childhood was when someone <laughs> someone stole my Zapdos out of my binder, and then but my mother made such a stink about it that the, the, the kid ended up giving it back. <laughs> so this Zapdos, there's some that blood one right there. there. Oh <laughs> this my one, it's <laughs> amazing. Oh my gosh. So here's my Charizard, it was like my pride and joy back yes. in the day. But actually a funny thing about Charizard is it yeah. actually wasn't that great in the actual card game. You would play basic Pokemon that you could just put one energy on and get them going. And that actually leads into this, which, which I wanna show you, which is the uh, the Haymaker decks, which were the most popular decks of the era. The tier one deck, Hitmonchan, star of the deck. It was called Haymaker because all the yeah. Pokemon did all these like, punching attacks. So we've got Hitmonchan, so you put one energy, 20 damage, you start attacking right away. Buzz very good as well. And so he had Thundershock and then Thunder Punch, right? Oh, and then Scyther. Scyther. You didn't always use Scyther to attack, but he made yeah. a great pivot because he had free retreat. Yeah. Uh, but then the deck actually does run some double colorless energies that you can For use to use Slash. Mm -hmm. 30 okay. damage may not sound big, but it was a lot back then. I mean, they're like, only 70 HP. Yes, a couple <laughs> yeah. slashes and it's over for you. <laughs> and it has 30 resistance to fighting, which means Hitmonchan, Ooh. it just wouldn't do any damage. It wouldn't do anything with it. Exactly. Perfect for the mirror match. Though. Exactly. Yeah. And that's all that it was back then. It was like, if you were sitting down at a Pokemon tournament, you were gonna get a Haymaker mirror match, yes. you know, round after round after round. So you had to be really good at it. Uh, one thing that's very different from the modern yeah. format is that there's no restrictions on what cards you can play. So we just have like four cards that say yeah. draw two. We have you know three cards that say 
discard your hand, draw seven. And so actually, because you can just draw through so much of your deck, yeah. is yeah. if you deck out, like you don't have any cards to draw, you lose. So you have to be very careful. It sounds like it's a lot more strategy based. And yes. Conserving and knowing when to play your cards versus just going through your deck really quickly and getting as many knocks as possible. And you really do have to play it like a chess match where you can serve yeah. your resources, you play for the long game. Yes, absolutely. Another resource you have to be very conscious about is energy. There's a ton of energy yeah, removal seen, cards. I've heard, everyone's like, this is pain. pain yes, right? <laughs> this is pure pain. Um, you know, today we have a card just like this, you know, Crushing Hammer, you have to do a coin flip to get it. Back in the day, you just played it and it's like, it the energy's gone. Yes. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Which brings wow, it back okay. to the Pokemon. That's why it's so important to have Pokemon that you can put down one energy and just hit and go. I'm ready to play. You're ready, ready to play? To get into this. Okay, let's, let's do it. Are we let's, gonna do the mirror? We are going to do a Haymaker oh, mirror match. My goodness. Let's go. <laughs> let's do it. So as we're shuffling up here for our Haymaker mirror match, there are a couple differences that you need to know. Okay. Mainly, we're gonna Same. set up first, and then we're gonna flip the coin to see who goes first. Oh, so you do after. Yeah. Uh, whoever wins the coin flip goes first, just automatically. There's no oh, choice. Oh, you're just auto. Yeah. Crazy times back so in the retro format. So even if you want to go second, like you can't. You can't. You can't <laughs> choose. You just have to okay. do it. Also, you can attack on the first turn, so that's okay. another difference. And you can just play any amount of All trainer cards trainers. you want back to back willy back. nilly. Yeah, so be Ooh. careful. Yeah, I was about to say, I gotta be careful about that. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, so we draw let's a hand of seven. Draw seven. Okay. And then we have to put down a basic Pokemon face down. And then we set up aside our prizes, six prizes. Three, four, five, six. So I will flip the coin if you want to call it. Let's go heads. All right, it's I'm heads. First. You're going first. <laughs> yeah, right, hey, I have to. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Let's go. I'm ready for this chess Boom. match. Go Cypher. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So you have resistance, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I don't do anything unless I'm hitting for this. Yep. Okay. Yep. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play Electabuzz down here. Attach here. Pass. I'll take my turn. I'm gonna play energy removal, oh, which no. makes that go to the discard pile. Instantly. And then good. I'm gonna attach an energy of my own <laughs> okay. and pass to you. Right. So do you have a lot of experience playing these decks? It's hard to go far in the Pokemon trading card game community without finding people who just are ready to bust out a Haymaker to play a, a mirror match. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Right back at you. Let's I thought I could distract it. you with stories of my youth, but. <laughs> no, that didn't save my energy because as you'll see, energy removal is the name of the game. But after a few turns, I was able to launch an attack. Oh, I see an opening. Okay, draw. Okay, this is good, this is good. Double colorless energy. So now I have 30 energy for my slash and I'm gonna attack you with slash for 30. All right. Get your turn. Scoop up, choose one of my Pokemon <gasps> and scoop it up. Okay. And it just goes into my hands. Yep. It's like, and then this goes away. <laughs> free heal on your Pokemon. Yes, a free heal essentially there. Uh, I'm gonna play it back down, and then I'm going to Professor Oak. Oh, okay. I have to, I need the energy of a fighting, so I'm gonna just attach there. Energy removal, oh, of course. come on! You gotta do that. Oh, wow, what is this? Wow! Oh, I my just gosh. read it, I'm like, what is this? This is like the biggest bomb you can drop in a game. So last, it makes both players reveal their hands and then any trainer cards you have, which are yeah. like some of the best cards in the game, you shuffle like into your deck. deck. Let's do it, let's last. Okay, we have both so, reveal our hands. And then all the trainer cards from our hands go back. Ugh. Oh, wow, thank goodness I did this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's like your she whole just lasts me for my whole hand. Mine's just two. Wow, okay, cut <laughs> me the too, deck. Kind of. uh, and then I can't attack you, so I'm just gonna pass. Okay. Nope, but I can't attach this. Oh, there we go. And I will At least slash you, you, slash you for 30 damage. Okay, okay. Your turn. Draw for a turn. Uh, let's attach this here. Okay, draw. Bill, draw two. Ooh. I'll slash you for another 30. Oh, man. This format feels very like you're relying on this top card. Oh, yeah. Right here. You can't dig through your deck. You can't, you, you have no savior besides this right here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to attach here in the pass. Okay. Draw. Okay. I'm just building my my, uh -huh. my bench up. Uh -huh. You still only have a Pokemon. I I've not drawn any other Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> that is wild. And I'm gonna slash for knockout. No. First knockout. Woohoo. No. I'm kind of scared because I don't want to not draw into an energy. So you usually always want to just promote so the cypher? I, yeah, of course. And it's free retreat. Oh, that's true, that's true. Draw for turn, attach there for turn. And we're gonna slash back. You're gonna slash back? Okay. Gosh. This is so different compared to current format. Because it's only 70 HP, it's so much simpler. <laughs> I just added the math real quick. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but what was not so simple was getting her Electabuzz online. It took a few turns of energy removal and Scyther slash attacks, but she finally found some lightning energy. Boom, uh -oh. right there. I'm in trouble. This is, <laughs> this is dicey, here we go. So now I'm using Thunder Punch. Flip a coin if heads, the, this attack does 30 damage, plus 10 more, but if it's 10, I do 10 to myself. Oh no. Okay, so do you wanna flip a coin? I'm terrible at flipping coins. Well, do you wanna roll a die instead? Yeah, that's probably better, yeah. that's probably better. I'm so bad at flipping coins. Hey. So you got <laughs> evens action. or heads for those at home. Yes, that is heads. Knockout that's a perfect thing. knockout. That's perfect 40 knockout. damage hits. Uh, that's exactly yeah. what I needed. <laughs> wow, okay. Here we go. Okay, draw for go. turn. <laughs> Bill, draw two. One, two. Oh, okay, here we go. Got a hit, Monchan. Oh, see now. This is good because I can retreat. And my and weakness. now you are weak. So I'm oh, going to hit no. you for double. Jab you for 20 times two is 40. Okay. Jab you in the face there, like Oof. Electra Buzz. And it turns out she didn't like me doing that. So she countered by removing my energy and landing another 40 damage Thunder Punch by. Hey. Wow, okay. <laughs> yup, hitting another heads. So then it was on me to respond. But even though I only had three cards and no energy, I was able to put together the perfect combo by scooping up my damaged Hitmonchan, boosting my attack with plus power, drawing a fresh hand of seven with Professor Oak, and with computer search, I was able to find the fighting energy I needed to earn a big knockout and the lead. That Electabuzz just that's, explodes. That's just it. Boom. That is not good. It's so not what prize. you want to see here. All right, I guess I gotta put up my Hitmonchan. All right, here we go. Another Lactabuzz, another Scyther. I'm gonna attach here. We're gonna do the plus power as well. So attaching for turn. And I still have to roll for it. Um, what are you rolling for? Right, don't we roll a coin for this? Or, oh no, that's it just, just adds it. just a flat 10, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so <laughs> good. I'm like, this is too good, I have to roll for it, right? But no, no. I just get it. Okay, cool, so we're going to jab. For 30, there it is, and okay. Let's discard. All right, draw for turn, Bill. Okay. I play a bill with no hesitation. But maybe I should have stopped to think about it a little bit because all these big plays using Bill and Professor Oak to draw lots of cards really burn through my deck. We trade some jabs and she puts me in a bad spot where I'm going to lose my Hitmonchan, so I try to turn the tide in my favor by removing an energy and paralyzing her Hitmonchan with my Electabuzz, a make or break play that relied entirely on me flipping heads. It's oh. tails. Anyways, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. I'm getting lucky with these coin flips. Yeah, I'm very for real. lucky on both sides. Let's do scoop up on my Hitmonchan. All that work I just did. I'm gonna bring up my Electivars. I'm gonna attach here. I'm gonna put Hitmonchan back down. And then Thunder Punch. Hope for a heads again. Oh wow. <laughs> Good luck. Uh-huh, seriously, okay. 40. That's fine. As it turns out, it was not fine. Even though I was leading the prize race, I made the fatal mistake of overplaying my cards, putting me at risk of losing by deck out. If only I had listened to my own advice. And you really do have to play it like a chess match where you can serve yeah. your resources, you play for the long game, so you have to be very careful. But I didn't, and this happened. Um. Oh my God. <gasps> My deck is getting you, so thin. I was about to say, are you doing what you warned me not to yep, do? I'm, yep. <laughs> well, you gotta dig for your resources, and if you don't. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you haven't attached for turn yet. And so I'm good. going to jab you for knockout. For knockout. Okay. Knock here. I just have to last as long <laughs> as I can. Yeah. Okay. So I'll put up Scyther. Draw for turn. I'm gonna attach here on the Hitmonchan, and we're just gonna main. Hit on Chan. So let's do that. Let's uh, jab for 20. Okay, I have to make every card count because I'm backed into a corner here. You're leading in prize cards. 
but we'll see. Energy Karmic retrieval. Tosa. Create a card in my hand for two energy. So we're gonna get those two. I'll bring down this guy. Okay. And I'm just gonna special punch you for <gasps> 40. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is like a, such a rare feat in yeah. uh, Haymaker matches because powering up the second attack is so hard to yeah, do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you gotta put three energy. That's like three separate turns. Uh. Okay, cool. Draw for turn. I'm going to attach. I'm gonna super energy removal to do this one. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. Discard up to up to two. Okay. So since I'm gonna be knocking out Hitmonchan, uh -huh. I'm gonna discard this one. Oh my gosh, that's such a heads up play. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> and then we're going to jab for knockout. Oh my gosh. Take a prize. Whoa, the momentum yeah. just completely went in your favor. <laughs> Thunder shock. Okay. And I'm going to flip a coin to see if I can paralyze you. Let's go. No! Yeah. You, you just get all the heads. The dice. I'm going to borrow it. that next time, yeah. <laughs> I swear it's not weighted. I swear it Okay, does. so just as 10. Okay. Oops. All right. Yes, okay. All right, draw for turn. Okay, now we have weakness on you here. Yeah. <gasps> mm, so we are going to plus power. Oh, no. So okay. So we're going to jab. Uh, for 40 plus, uh, plus 10, so 50. 50, yeah. okay. Your Draw. turn. Oh no. <laughs> this is close. This is very close. <laughs> um, I'm still scared. I'm gonna thunder shock you again. Oh, okay, okay, for the paralysis. Oh my gosh! Oh okay, my it just does goodness. 10. Okay. okay, I'm still alive. My light is fading here, I can feel it. Draw for turn. Okay, that's good for me. So we're gonna jab for, for knockout For knockout, here. yeah. Okay, tied now we're up tied up. Game. Oh, I had such Ooh. a lead. Now I feel it slipping away. And so my deck is also slipping away because there's only three cards left. Oh no, yeah. no, no. Oh no. That's only a couple turns here. I don't even have enough, it'll never. I'll never the win, paralysis. but I'm still gonna fight. Well, this is, no, you're Thunder knocking shot, no matter punch, what. Punch, take, yeah. take a prize. Okay, I'm still in it, I'm Knocked still in it. Knocked out on the Hitmonchan. We'll just throw the Scyther up since we can free retreat, make some decisions here. Okay, here we go, power move again. <laughs> we have to, Uh huh. we have to discard, even though it's not for two. Wow. It's important here, discarding the energy. So I'm going to attach one. Yep. And then just free retreat. And we're going to go for a thunder punch. I wonder what it's gonna be, everybody. Oh my God, another head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't apologize for being the best, the very best. Oh no. You gotta start rolling it. That, I'm that gonna. dice. I'm getting Roll this it. Let's out of see here. what yeah. happens. All right. Okay, Draw. two cards. This is your last card here, right, Josh. Energy go. removal on the lightning. Okay, here we go. And yeah. I don't have any energy, pass. <laughs> oh no. Draw for turn. Luckily for me, wow! Okay. I had it. I had it in here. I, I couldn't find it in the beginning, but now we have it. Plus power as well. So that's just gonna add the 10 base and I'm gonna go for the thunder punch. I mean, that's a knockout either way. Oh yeah, yeah. that's true, because the 10- You can still do it for fun if you want to rub it in my face because you get another heads. Watch it be the tails this time when it's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay. okay. Another prize card. All right. Last card. And now my turn. What I can don't you have do it. with it? All right, your turn. Okay. It's nothing. That's it then. And then, oh, and this discarded a while ago, but doesn't yeah. matter because I attack, but you have nothing to draw. I have no draw. cards. You win. No! All right, you won your Haymaker <laughs> mirror. Wow. Good game. Good game. That was, that was really fun. That, that was really fun. Super fun. Yeah. Yeah. You, you see did. how like resource yeah. management matters. I told you yes. like three times, and yet I didn't, didn't listen. <laughs> You were, you were like, Bill, Bill. <laughs> I needed yeah, it, so. I needed the resources. Well, what was cool about it though is it went back and forth so heavily. Like I was losing, I couldn't get this energy. You were leading pretty heavily. I did that super good like energy removal. And then that's, I think that's what won. And that's a principle, <laughs> like a strategy that you can carry forward into the modern day yeah. Pokemon card game is that maintaining your energy and your resources is always gonna be important. Yes, yes, I agree. Okay, so that was super fun, the retro format. Thanks for walking me through that. Yeah. I'm excited to see the contrast now because we're stepping into standard. A little bit of my, my territory, oh, okay. a little more. So standard format, this is gonna be like the most recent sets that come out. 
Uh, if you do want to play a little bit of the older cards without going all the way back to retro, you can play expanded format, which is all the way back to black and white. So if you have cards from then, you can still play those, but right here we're playing standard. So you have a couple decks, I have a couple decks. Do you want to jump into our decks here? Yeah, and then we'll choose which we think will be the most interesting, yeah, most competitive yes. matchup. Yes. So to go over them really quick, I yes. brought Shadow Rider Calyrex, which uh, builds uh, a big pan with its ability. Underworld Door lets you draw two cards and put down an extra psychic energy on the board in addition to, to your normal energy attachment. I really like that because it gives you a lot of options. Yes. There's Eternatus VMAX, which is a very big Pokemon. It hits for huge numbers by building a big bench. And then there's Urshifu, uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, which is more of a spread deck. And it's yes. for people who like to calculate, you know, uh, where, when and where they're gonna take their prizes over the long course of the game. Uh, what did you bring? So the the dreaded uh, Arceus Dialgapalkia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, very competitive, very aggressive deck. It takes extra prize cards and does extra damage. So you're playing this to win, essentially, is yeah. when you play that deck. <laughs> uh, and then I wanted to kind of showcase a, a single prize deck because standard format does have single prize Pokemon, even though most of them now are two to three prizes, you yeah. can still play a uh, viable single prize Pokemon that can be very fun. Uh, but this one I'm super excited for because it is, it's not something I usually play. It's all about searching out exactly what cards you need. It's almost kind of closer to the retro format because you have to know what card you need to play at what time. It's a very technical deck, which is like kind of the opposite for me, but I'm kind of excited for that. Yeah. Well, we want to find the best matchup here. And yes. I think you're super excited for Ice Rider Calyrex. I do love Shadow Rider yes. Calyrex. So let's, let's do them head to head. Let's do it. Let's see the uh, poster children of Chili Grain. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right, so the rule change, uh, there's a couple actually. If I go first or you go first, you cannot attack uh, if you're going first, and you cannot play a supporter as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have supporter cards now. They're not all trainer cards. So you can actually only play one supporter per turn as well. Yeah, it's a lot more limiting. There's it's also very limiting. tool cards and there's stadium cards, all the cards. Well, the thing <laughs> is it allowed them to make supporter cards a little bit better in yeah. what they do. So you have a lot of more search, you have a lot more accessibility mm -hmm. into your deck rather than just relying on top deck all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, heads or tails, so who goes first. Tails, let's go tails this side. Since you're great at flipping tails. Wow, you got tails again. Oh my gosh, that was a little shade. But do you want to go first or second? Uh, I will go first. You'll go first? Yes, okay. I'll go first. Cool. Draw in seven here. There's my basic Pokemon face down. Same. Lay out my prize cards. Do you want to explain the GX tokens? Oh yeah, so in the Sun and Moon era, they introduced GX Pokemon that have GX attacks. It's a one per game move that's so powerful, you have to you have to mark when you've used it and you cannot use yep. it again. That's, I completely- <laughs> Well, make sure that. you flip yours yeah. back oh, up. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, All right, ready? So are you ready? Hey, good I'm luck. Ready. Good luck, <laughs> let's do it. All right. Okay, cool, look at that. Your ideal starter, very nice. My ideal starter, very true. And let's go into this. We're going to level ball. So searching out a Pokemon uh, that is 90 HP or less. And what's cool is this is uh, an older card, but because it's reprinted, you can play that copy if the, the wording is exactly the yes. same. Tap or cut. There's gonna be a lot more shuffling as well because I am searching out a lot of cards in this matchup. All right, path to peak. Oh, wow. To start there. You're starting with that. Which is a major stadium. And this actually shuts off all abilities of any rule box Pokemon. So this is any Pokemon that's a GX or a V. So all of your GXs and Vs do not have abilities. Yes, anymore. which is actually, that really hurt me. And now I have a super slow start. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna attach here to the Calyrex. Pass to you. Okay. After that. All so right. another thing about standard as well, really any, any format, um, you do have to wait a turn in between evolving your Pokemon. So I can't jump straight into the next evolution. You have to wait a full turn of that Pokemon being down before you can actually evolve. Okay, coming out. <laughs> Shadow Rider. I pass turn to you. <laughs> All right, draw for turn. I have 
almost the opposite. I have literally the perfect hands that I could have. So Must have. be nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so evolving into Calyrex VMAX. Uh, I'm also going to evolve into Drizelle as well. Because Drizelle's not a GX or a V Pokemon, I can still use his ability, which allows me to search any trainer card that I want from my deck. Uh, let me actually see what I want. What could you possibly deck. need? What is a woman who has everything? <laughs> what could she possibly need? Yes, that's very, very true. I'm actually gonna go with Capacious Bucket. I will use it mm -hmm. uh, to search out two more water energy. This is a very lucky <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the beauty of the deck is yeah. with the, the Inteleon line, the you can support. just search out whatever you need and it's it's great. That's like a huge difference that I see in the two formats is there's a lot more support Pokemon, I think, in standard. So you have your main attackers, but then you also have a lot of Pokemon that do support those attackers. They have special abilities, special moves that help a lot. So I'm going to attach here as well for turn. Do max lance, which is 120 for each energy mm -hmm. I discard, mm -hmm. uh, and then plus the base 10. So it's actually gonna do 250. Which knocks, knocks out. It, knocks my out poor that Necrozma. V. No. <laughs> and I take two prize cards for yes. the Necrozma. Wow. Whereas in like in on your second turn you've already taken two prizes. Whereas <laughs> exactly. before I think it was like five, six turns. Yeah, yeah, you did you had a single Pokemon for the longest time. <laughs> All right. Draw. All right, your turn. And I will play Evolution Incense to cool. grab the evolution here. Shadow Rider V Max. Okay, okay. So I'm in a really bad spot. You've shut off my abilities. And uh, my hand is kind of dead. Oh no. So, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna still do what I can to try and win. Okay. Uh, how many cards do you have in your hand right now? I have seven. Okay, I'm gonna play Reset Stamp. Okay, down to four. Yes. That's good. That's a good so idea. a big part of this game, especially in, in the standard format, is controlling your opponent's hand and playing yes. cards that stop them from building a big hand. Because with big hands, you obviously have lots of options mm -hmm. and you have all the, the game-winning cards. But my, my strategy with Reset Stamp is to slow you down <laughs> from this really fast, possible. aggressive start and try and build a board. So I pretty much have to reshuffle my entire hand and I only get to draw as many cards as my prize cards. So yes. now that I've taken two, I draw four cards instead of having the seven I have before. Mm -hmm. So very good move there, that's for sure. And I mean, there's whole decks dedicated to control to, with cards all like right. that. Here's all the good cards on the bottom and there's some dead cards hope. on the top. There all right, go. so draw four. And uh, I'm just gonna pass turn to you. Pass, okay, cool. All right, draw for turn, quick ball out a boss's order. So discarding the boss's order to search for a basic Pokemon, a Sobble. Some more, some more support here. All right, tap or cut. All right, there you go. Okay, cool, cool. I'm going to attach energy here, and then I am going to research, discarding my reset stamp, drawing seven. Uh-huh, Like okay. a Professor Oak. That reset stamp helps. It worked, quite a okay, lot. it did buy me a turn. It did, it bought you some time there. Okay, I'm gonna play this Calyrex to bench. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass. Okay, cool. To you. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, draw. Okay, oh, this is great, this is great. I'm gonna play Marnie, where okay. we both shuffle our hands. Stuff, shuffle hands first. This is another hand disruption card that's really good. Okay. So we put those on the bottom of the deck, and yes. then I get to draw five. And I draw four. Yes. So it's in your advantage. I'm going to play Quick Ball and discard that. And searching out. I will get basic. a Marshadow. Ooh. And you know what's happening next. <laughs> I know what's happening next. Marshadow discards stadiums. Yes. So, so I'll play will. that. I'll use his ability resetting hole, which I can discard him from the bench. And you can get rid of that really annoying oppressive stadium. Yes. Uh, I'll play Dedene GX and okay. use Dede Change to discard my hand and draw six, which now it keeps my abilities because that's gone. Path to Peak Three, is gone. Four. I'll put down Gengar Mimikyu. Tag Team GX. Oh, I'll use Underworld Door. Okay. And draw two cards. One, two. Play Fog Crystal and get out that. I'll attach there and discard this tool scrapper. I'm gonna discard these to retreat ooh, into the Gengar okay. Mimikyu. Ooh, ooh, I know what's coming. And then I'm going to use my GX attack, <laughs> which nice. says uh, you cannot play any cards on your yes. turn. 
Yes. So it's your turn. I literally draw, and that is all I can do because I can't play any cards, so. It's back to Pass me. To you. Okay, this is great. This is like the momentum I needed to like give myself some breathing room to now build a board yep. and fight back. So in order to mount my counterattack, I play another Shadow Rider Calyrex V, do some evolving, and put my Chaotic Swell Stadium into play, which automatically discards her next stadium. That's incredibly important for me because my entire deck is based on using Pokemon VMAX abilities and her Path to the Peak Stadium shuts off abilities. So now that I've got a foothold in the game and my defenses set up, she takes her turn. But spoiler alert, she's about to completely undo all my hard work. So first I'm gonna evolve this Sobble to search out my one trainer card. Yeah, this ability, the I Shady do. Dealings ability you're using gives me so much anxiety because it's just like, yeah, whatever card you need, you can just go find the perfect yep. card every turn. I'm going to Evolution Incense to grab an Evolution Pokemon because not only do we have the Drizzile Shady Dealings, but the Inteleon oh, Shady wow. Dealings. Okay. You can get two As cards. Well. Yes, which allows me to draw two cards. All right, now I'm going to Melanie. Okay for my supporter for turn. So attach a water to one of my V Pokemon. So I'm gonna attach here. And then if I did do that, I draw uh, three cards. So a little bit more draw for me. Uh, I'm gonna put down another Sobble onto my bench. And then I'm going to evolve this Drizzile into Inteleon searching out two more trainer cards. And then it's it's it's, it's, it's a little pro move there, what, what uh, Boo just <laughs> did, because you wanna play your you know draw cards first, you know, to see what you get. And then after that, you wanna go search out the other cards that you need. Pro tip, pro tip. Pro tip, <laughs> it's, it's sequencing. Yes. That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah. Your order of operations is very important. Order of operations, important. Yes. very important. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that and my air balloon. I'm gonna put air balloon here attaching the item card so it goes sideways on your Pokemon. Uh, and then I'm going to quick ball out a Sobble, searching for a basic Pokemon. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Oh, okay, you play that too, okay. Little combo. Okay, okay, combo. let's see what you're doing. <laughs> let's see, let's see, okay. Gotta shut down those abilities somehow, right? Wow, yeah. <laughs> This is oh so oppressive. My gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna discard the stadium okay. with resetting hole. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna play Path to Peak to kind of reset that ability there. Um, so I'm gonna attach for turn. So attaching to the Calyrex. Yeah, we're going to do my Max Lance for the knock. This is a goner. To take two prize cards. Okay. Um, and she just uh, really just turned everything around. I thought I was in a good spot, but by putting Path to the Peak down, it really sets me back because my Pokemon, my Pokemon are, are based off of like abilities, yes. and she doesn't use any uh, abilities, abilities on her on her rule box Pokemon, anyways. Yes. Uh, so I'm in a bad spot. Yeah, that's for sure. Boo was able to systematically take down my defenses and leave me desperate to slow her down after taking a four prize lead. I tried my best by using boss's orders to bring up a Pokemon that can't attack and strand it in the active position. It kind of works and I'm finally able to attack, leading to an exchange of blows that decide the match. I'm gonna boss's orders this fellow. And then I'm gonna attack you with Max Geist and do 100 damage. Cool. Okay, draw for turn. Uh, we're gonna Melanie onto this Calyrex. Draw three. I am actually just gonna ride the High King. So this actually hits 30 for each of your bench Pokemon plus the base 10. So it's only 100. 100. 100 here, 100 back. Yes, okay. <laughs> now it feels like a battle. All right. uh, I think I just have to attack again with Max Geist. For another 100? Yeah. Okay, draw for turn. Boss's order for the Gengar Mimikyu. And then Max Lance for the knock for both prize For cards. the knock, <laughs> oh! This is what I needed. Oh there, yeah, there. to get out of there, to retreat. Oh, okay, yes. uh, good game. <laughs> good game, nice play. good game. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Yeah. 
So what do you think about the differences? Well, I feel like the biggest difference is, whereas in the retro format, it was a lot of like back and forth and quick turns. Pass, pass, Yes, pass. this whole game only lasted a handful of turns and each turn lasted so long. So long. Because you can play cards that search throughout the deck and cards that draw extra cards. And, and so just, much shuffling. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, and, and that's what I love about it. That's yeah. like the beauty of the Pokemon trading card yes. game is that you can go about your way to win in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. And you can use tons of really cool different Pokemon. Like I love like Gengar and Mimikyu. So they put them on a card together. I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. this is for me. <laughs> that's so, yeah, you know? that's what's so cool. A lot so. of the Pokemon you love like have really cool cards that are actually good in the game that you can play with. And I'm glad we got to showcase the new Calyrex cards, like yes. the Shadow Rider and the Ice Rider. Yeah, this version of the deck was literally made to shut down abilities. I could that tell, reason. I, I could know. tell. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, yeah, no, no, you played so, so well. I, yeah, I had a great time, even though I lost horribly. <laughs> okay, cool. And if you had fun watching us at home, you can get into the Pokemon trading card game yourself. Uh, for any beginners out there, I recommend you just go to your local game store and ask to see their Pokemon starter decks and just pick one that has one of your favorite Pokemon on it and they have everything you need in the box to play and just go from there and have fun. Yes, absolutely. Or if you want to get a little bit more competitive, you can pick up a trainer tool kit that comes with staple Pokemon cards that go into competitive decks. Or if you don't have people to play with locally, you can play Pokemon's free online trading card game as well that you can build, play tests, and trade cards all at a couple clicks of some buttons. And if you were maybe a little intimidated by the new Pokemon we were using that you may be unfamiliar with, rest easy knowing that your Charizards, your Gengars, your Pikachus, they've all been adapted to the modern format so you can play with all your Gen 1 favorites. Yeah. And speaking of new stuff, Evolving Skies, the newest set as well, bringing back Dragon Pokemon, yes. which is amazing as well. So that's really cool. That is, yes, that's very exciting to look forward to. And I just want to say, you know, thank you so much for coming here and playing. I'm so thank glad you. we got to play Pokemon cards I together. Know. Thanks for having me. And uh, for everyone at home, yeah, go, go start your Pokemon TCG journey. And for everything else, Pokemon, keep it here on IGN. <laughs>